Hi everybody, this is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and uh, I got a request from Conrad to model a bridge. Now this one's going to be a bit of a challenge because the bridge that I chose to model is the Golden Gate Bridge. So let's see how that's going to turn out. Okay. Um, I'm going to start off by loading a reference image. So I'm going to go to my uh, panel view. I'm going to go to my front view here view image plane import image and uh, let me see I'm going to use this as a reference okay now he didn't want to take that one so just uh, hang on one sec and we'll load a different image not sure why but that happens on occasion yeah we'll try that one that's better okay and we'll get rid of that there we go select our image pull it up a little bit push that back and let's scale this up now normally I would want to uh, model this to scale if in any way possible but I understand that the Golden Gate Bridge is 1.7 miles long that's quite long so I'm just going to try to get it, uh, you know, as uh, suitable as possible. Okay. So we're going to start off with the base down here, which is the base of the bridge, this area. Okay. And for that, we're going to create a, um, let me think. We will create um, a polygon cylinder, something like that. We'll pull that up, hit 5 for shaded mode. We're going to zoom in a little bit, and let's give that some uh, subdivision, okay? We're going to make that uh, 40, yeah, something like that. We're going to go to our top view, hit 5 for shaded mode, and we're going to right-click, go to face, and we're going to drag select half of that like so all right and we're going to drag that out to something like that all right then we're going to right click go to edge and we're going to get rid of these edges here like so all right so that's our starting point now let's get a bit of a closer look if in any way possible okay seems that there's a, a cubicle shape on top so we'll just uh, give this a little bit more height select it hit r scale that up something like so and at some point we're going to create an ocean uh, base down there so i'm going to make this a bit higher okay and most of this will go below the surface of the water right so next we're going to take a polygon cube Let's pull that up. Let's go to our top view. And we'll centralize this guy. So we're going to set our translate value to zero in our attribute editor, like that. Uh, let me see. Modify center pivot. Just get that right. Okay, we'll take our cube, we'll set those values to zero, hit four for wireframe mode, and that looks about right. Now let's give it some height. There is our cube, five for shaded mode, and let's see if the height is okay. Yeah, something like so. All right, now obviously we've got two of those, but we'll get to that later. Let's look at this uh, base structure down here, okay? So that is our uh, basic uh, shape that's gonna hold up uh, the bridge. And as you can see, this uh, goes inwards at some point around here. So this height here, we need to do in, in one go, so to speak, okay? So we're gonna create a polygon cube uh, something like that. We're going to pull that up. Let's give another look. 
So we got one, two, there we go. We're gonna move to the side view here. And we're gonna give that some subdivision. So in our, uh, no, not in our height, in our, sorry, depth, yeah. Uh, let's see, four, that looks about right, yep. Okay, we're gonna hit F to zoom in, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna right click. Uh, looks like I need one more, sorry guys. Object mode, five, like that, okay. Right click, face, we're gonna select these three. And let's check to see if that's on both sides. Yes, it is. So we got these and we'll take these. We're gonna go to edit mesh in our polygons menu, edit mesh extrude. Let's hit R and pull it out to something like so. And then we'll take the middle face on both ends. We're gonna hit the G to repeat that. And we're gonna drag that out as well. It's not responding for some reason. I'll just do it manually. Edit mesh extrude. Hmm. Should respond. Never mind. Hit R. And we'll do it that way. Maybe a bit more. Something like that. Okay. And that has to go up quite a bit. So, uh, first we're going to scale this. Right click object mode. Hit R. Scale that down quite a bit. Go to our top view. Hit W. And let's move this into position. F to zoom in. And we're going to duplicate that. Just check to see how large these things are. Looks like they're filling the base up quite a bit. So we're going to scale that out a little bit. Something like so. And we're going to hit Control D to duplicate that until we are here. Looks about right. We're gonna drag select these, make sure that they're on our base and that seems to be okay. And the distance between the two doesn't look quite enough. So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that out a little bit and then we'll move these two out as well. So something like that, that looks slightly better. Okay, now obviously we need to have quite a bit more height, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these two, go to Mesh, Combine, right click Vertex, drag select these top vertices, and we're gonna drag that up. And that should equal the height roughly from the base down there up to this level here. Okay. All right. So what's next? Um, we are going to create this cross section here. Okay. So for that, what we're going to do is we are going to go to this view here. Hit five for shaded mode. We're gonna go up here, edit mesh, insert edge loop tool. Just check my reference image. And we'll do something around there. 
and there and proportionally speaking something like this and this hit Q on your keyboard okay we're gonna zoom in here just check my reference image once more okay right click face we'll select these faces and that one and that one edit mesh extrude we're gonna hit W oops I need to select these three sorry edit mesh extrude and we're gonna pull that over and make sure that they connect all right so we got that part uh, then the bridge itself and I'm just gonna quickly use a placeholder so not the final bridge yet um, we're just gonna take a, a cube something like so and we're gonna bring that in pull that up and let's see how high that should be okay we need some cross sections down there and it looks like it's roughly halfway up for the first section so that would be something like so okay and again that's just a placeholder we're gonna uh, swap that out later okay so now let's look at what's going on down here apparently we've got some cross sections going on there okay so for that we're going to create a, a polygon cube and let's make sure that that is square so we'll do one by one by one and we will right click object mode hit R stretch that out something like that and looks like the first one is just off the base there so we're gonna hit R sorry E rotate that make sure we're at 90 degrees minus 90 in this case and let's bring that in hit W bring that up and scale that down quite a bit let's check it from the various angles so here something like so and how much of these sections do we have going on two apparently okay so we're gonna hit control D to move that up something like that and shift D to do that once more like so I'm gonna hit four for wireframe mode Ooh, that's horrible it's hard to see um, get our image move that out of the way for a sec five for shaded mode okay that is a bit better now I'm gonna take this guy I'm gonna hit control D to duplicate that pull it down hit E to rotate that and what I'm gonna do is actually just leave it like that hit control D again move it back up until we're at that situation like so and we're just gonna just select all of these elements 
like so. Go to Mesh, Combine. And from our top view, let's make sure that these are in the middle. Like that. Let's see how that looks. Not too bad. We can bring that up just a bit. Modify center pivot. We're going to bring that up until it's uh, close to our, uh, our road, so to speak. We can get rid of that one. We'll take that. Control D to duplicate. Let's just check to see if we got the correct height. That looks fine. Okay, so we got those sections down there, those two. Then we need to deal with these up here. Now, what's up here is pretty much a copy of this, but it's narrowed in because the cables at the top have the same width as the road, okay? So we need to pay attention to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we are going to hit control D to duplicate that. We're going to pull that up. And as you can see, there's a bit too much height going on, but we'll tweak that in a sec. This looks like uh, roughly the appropriate height for the second section. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that in somewhat, not too much. Hit W to pull that up until we have the correct height. And then we're going to hit F to zoom in. And we're going to tweak this a little bit. So what we're going to do is right click, go to vertex, drag select these vertices, and we're going to pull them up until we're about here and now next what we need to do is select these vertices and these vertices hit R and scale them out to a point where this line here is level and that will give us this so now we have this section. Now we have to repeat that twice, okay? So we got that. Control D, W to pull that up. F to zoom in. Check our height. Looks roughly the same height. So modify center pivot. We're going to pull that up. We're going to Hit R, we're going to scale that in just a bit, something like so. Go to this view here. And again, right click, vertex, drag select these, pull that up, and then drag select these vertices and these vertices. Hit R and scale them out until they are pretty much level. And now we have to do one more for the top. Right click object mode, control D, W to move that up. F to zoom in. All right, right click vertex, drag select these and drag select these. Hit R and scale them out. Now, what's important right now is if we look at the height, which is actually not bad, um, the top line here needs to be level with the, uh, the road surface, if you know what I mean. Now, you can see here that this is inside these two columns. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and we're going to move that until it's inside these two columns. So we're going to pull that in, check it from our perspective view, and pull that in some more. 
doesn't seem to be in the middle, so we need to tweak that a little bit. Okay. So now this point here has to be level with that point there. So the way we can check that is hit Control D to duplicate that and pull that straight up and see where we're at. Okay. Now it looks like these need to come in just a little bit, not much. So we're going to delete this guy, take that top section, and we are going to hit R and scale that in just a little. Hit W to move that down. Switch to this view again. Right click vertex. Drag select these. Drag select these. Hit R and just scale that in. So if we look at the bridge so far, that would be okay. All right, now what else? We got cable holders up here on top. So for that, we're gonna create two simple little cubes. Hit F to zoom in and make sure that these are nice and square. Scale them down quite a bit. Right click face, edit mesh extrude, hit R, pull that in, hit W, pull that up, something like so. Right click object mode. We're gonna go to this view here, pull that into position, hit F to zoom in, and we're gonna scale this down a lot. Let's check from this view. Hit W to move that way up. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that in a little bit. And now we can check it from this view here. Hit 5. Oh, that doesn't work. 4. Control D to duplicate that. Pull that over. And let's see if that's going to work. Now, they both need to come in a bit. So I'm going to level that with that line there and level that with that line there. That looks pretty close. Okay. Now, we got that whole cross section, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the whole thing with the exception of that. Mesh combine, control D to duplicate. We're going to hit W and we're going to move that way over here, something like that. Okay, and that's what we're going to deal with in a sec. Okay, now for the road surface. You see all these cross sections going on down there. Now, that's going to be tricky to model. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start to model it and then um, get it into proportion as quick as possible. Okay, so we're going to create a little cube here. And again, make sure that that is nice and square. Okay, we're going to select that guy, hit R, we're going to scale that up, something like so, Control D to duplicate, W to move that over, and let's switch views to this view here, okay, hit 5 for shaded mode, we're going to take that guy, Control D to duplicate and E to rotate 
and R to stretch that out because actually let's move this guy over a bit. This needs to be a nice fit. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit 4, right click vertex, let's drag select these, hit W, and we're just going to make sure that this corner here lines out. Drag select these, do the same here. Right click, object mode, select that guy, control D, E to rotate, and we'll do the same here. Right click vertex, hit W, move that in, select that, and move that down. Let's try and get this clean, okay? So I just need to check if there are horizontal bars there as well. And yes, there are. Okay, so we need to take one of these. Control D, E to rotate. Make sure that that's exactly minus 90. Like so. We're going to go to this view here. Hit W. We're going to move that in. Let's get this at a clean 90. There we go. Okay, that looks about right. Right click edge, select those edges, move that over there. And right click object mode, select that guy, control D, and pull that down until we're level at the bottom, like so. Okay, so we've got one of these sections. We're going to go to Mesh Combine, and we're going to scale this down a lot. So modify Center Pivot, scale that down. Oops. Let's move that towards our bridge here to get a sense of how big or small that needs to be. Okay, so we're going to scale that down some more. Probably something like this. Okay. And now we're going to... Sorry about that. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. I have to zoom in, make sure that there's a clean connection. Like that. And we're going to hit Shift D. And we're going to do that a lot more times. My polygons are going to go nuts. Okay, so let's select that. Um, As you can see, we need a bit more than that. So, right click object mode, select all of that, mesh combine, hit control D to duplicate, and let's check the middle here just to make sure we have a clean connection. Hit the insert key, which will allow us to move this so we can see it. Zoom in on that. Hit W. And bring that in, like so. And uh, let's see what we got. So we got this. And now we can take this guy. Mesh separate. Hang on a sec. Yeah, we'll take that little segment there. Get rid of that. 
mesh separate. Hang on a sec, yep. Get rid of that. And now we need to take these sections. So these select that and these select that and these like that. Okay. Mesh combine. Give that a sec. Like I said, this is uh, going to be very high poly, so okay. We'll take that bridge section, get rid of that. We can now take this guy and start to move it to the inside of our bridge, which should be somewhere around here. It's always tricky when you have an object that's this long to uh, get a sense of whether it's positioned correctly. Yeah, I need a little bit more. That's nice. Okay. And then we need to hit Control D to duplicate that. And we're going to pull that over here. And again, let's just uh, quickly check that. Okay. We can bring that one in just a bit. All right. So that's what we have so far. Now, the thing with this is that it's not straight. If you look at the bridge, you'll see that it's curved a little bit. So we need to create the road surface first, which is slightly lower. And then we can combine that and make that into one object and curve it. Okay. So we're going to take a polygon cube. Something like that. Give it some height. Make sure that that is very, very thin. Something like that. And what's very important here, because we're going to bend this, is that it has subdivisions. Okay. So, oop, not in the height. Uh, not that either. There we go. Let's make that 60 or so. Okay, let's get that thing on top of our side sections. So we're going to hit W, we're going to bring that down. And as you can see, we can actually bring that in a bit. So hit R to something like so. Pull it up a little. Start to bring that in. Hit F to zoom in, something like that. We're going to hit R. We're going to start to scale that in. Hit W, bring that in. Scale a little bit more. That should be about right. And from this view, hit W and bring that up. We want, it to ha we want it to be about halfway, so um, the cars uh, are not, you know, if the road's up here, you know, there w won't be any uh, any protection. So we're going to bring that down a little bit, something like that. And we're going to hit R and we'll make it even thinner, something like so, okay? Right, now we need to bend this. So we're going to... Select all of that, go to Mesh, Combine, switch to this view here, okay, take the whole thing, move it a little bit over here so it's about level, okay, and now we're going to go to our Animation tab, Create Deformers, Nonlinear, Bend, we need to rotate that, so hit E to rotate. 
come on. There we go. We're going to rotate the bend handle by minus 90. And let's check if it's in the right angle right now. And now it is not. So we're just going to hit control Z. We need to rotate the bend handle. Oops. Rotate the bend handle once more uh, to minus 90. And let's try that again. That's better. Okay. Now our bridge is going to be bent a little bit like this. Not so much, obviously, but just a little. So I don't know the exact percentage, but let's say 1.5. See how that looks. And that looks about right. Let's just check that. Windows. Outliner. Bend handle. Let's see what happens if we do two. Two looks a little bit better. Okay. So we're going to select that. We're going to go to edit, delete by type history. And that will make sure that this will stay unchanged. Okay. So that's our bridge surface. Let's just check that out. Okay, it's not bad. All right. Okay, now for the tricky part. We need to have these uh, cables that are going from tower to tower. Okay. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a polygon cylinder, drag that out in the grid, stretch that out. And obviously, we need to scale it in quite a bit. It needs to be very, very thin and also very, very long. We're going to start by hitting E to rotate it by 90 degrees. Where'd he go? Uh, here, 90. Okay. We're going to switch views to this view here. We're going to hit R. And we're going to start to stretch that out to the point where we can get close to these two points. Hit R. Now, there's going to be quite a big curve here, so we need to make sure that we have enough length, okay? Because right here, it's almost going to touch the bridge. So with this created, make sure we have enough subdivisions that will allow us to bend it and we're going to zoom in quite a bit to make sure that we got the right ones there we go let's do 80 or so maybe even 100 let's see if that will allow us to do a correct bend okay so we're going to go to our animation tab create deformers nonlinear and bend and let's see where our angle is at. It's bending in the wrong way, so. Okay, we're gonna take our bend handle. So, go to our outliner. Bend handle, there we go. And we're gonna hit E, and we're gonna rotate that to minus 90 and this is going to be tricky so the way I'm going to fix this is I'm going to take the entire bridge hit W and push that up to get a sense of when this is going to be right something like that we're going to go back to our bend handle window outliner there we go and let's pull that up a bit more. Okay, so now we're at a point where it's actually very close to our towers here, right? And it's very close to our bridge. Maybe it's too close to our bridge, not quite sure. So let's just check that. 
We're going to bring the bridge down just a little, not too much. And up here, it looks pretty okay. So we're going to take this, edit, delete by type history, which will clean that up. We're going to take this cable, we're going to bring that in to, yeah, pretty close, yeah, to there. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. We're going to pull that over. And let's just make sure that these are situated correctly. So we got that. That looks pretty cool. Okay. And now we're going to tweak this a little bit. Okay. We're going to go to our little thingies up here and we need to extend them a little bit. It's a bit hard to model in this scale. All uh, right. So we are going to right click, go to face, select that face and that face. Polygon menu, edit mesh, extrude, hit W, pull that up. And let's see how close we are. Okay, we're going to take this guy, hit W, modify center pivot. We'll do that from our top view. Right click object mode. All right, so we're going to need to move this a little bit. like that okay and for this the same okay so we need to swing over to the other end and we're going to do the same here we're going to right click face like that face and that face, edit mesh, extrude, hit W and pull that up. And that should hit our cable. All right. Now, obviously, we've got these ends sticking out here. Uh, we don't want that. So right click face. And what's the best view to do that right here? Right click face, there we go. And we're gonna drag select that. Perfect. And drag select this. Nope. Yeah, looks nice. We're going to swing over to this end. We're going to do the same. So that would be here. Right click face. Drag select that. Come on. Object mode. Right click face. Drag select that. That's maybe just a bit too much. Yeah, it is. So we'll deselect that. Hit delete. Select that face. Hopefully I didn't delete the entire thing. I did not. No. Looks like I need to tweak it just a little. So that is what we will do. Right click edge and 
we're just gonna double click on the movement tool go to object orientation Okay, that's about as close as I can get. Okay, right click face, drag like these, get rid of those, right click edge, double click on that, pull that out, pull that up, and just pull that in just a little. Okay, so that looks pretty clean. All right. So now, next, what we need to do is, uh, let's see, where's my image? Right there. Let's have a look. Okay, so now there are cables coming off of here. And let's see where they are going. They're going fairly straight down. Okay. So we need to come up with a point where they are going. And... Uh, considering I don't have anything built out here, um, dum -dum -dum -dum, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two mesh combine, control D to duplicate. We're going to pull them out, hit F to zoom in. Actually, let's do that from this point here. Okay, so I'm going to hit my insert key, bring that up here so I can see it okay. We're going to hit W, and we're going to bring that down, bring that in so that connects. Hit the insert key again, bring that down there, and now we're going to hit E. And we're going to rotate that down to a point where this marker would be, okay? 9207, just remember that, okay? And then we're going to right-click face, and we're going to take off a huge section of that, the part that we don't need, okay? So then we get this, all right? We're going to do the same at the other end. So we're going to take those, hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to move that over. Hit F to zoom in. I want my pivot point closer, so hit the insert key to something like that. I'm going to hit W on my keyboard. like that. Hit the insert key, move my pivot point up there. Hit E to rotate that down. I believe it was minus 9.207, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 9.207. Okay. And again, right click face. And we're going to drag, select, maybe a bit more, something like that, maybe even a bit more. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we got cables, cables, cables. Okay, so now let's deal with the uh, vertical cables. And these are these cables here, okay? So for that, we are going to take a polygon cylinder. Obviously, we need to make that extremely uh, thin. And let's stretch that out a bit. And let's just get one close to its position to figure out, you know, whether it's thin enough, okay? 
So I'll go somewhere to the middle of the bridge, hit F to zoom in. Okay, it's still pretty thick. So we're going to hit R, we're going to scale it down some more, make it even thinner, and pull that up. Okay. All right, so we're going to hit F to zoom in. We're going to pull that down just a little, like so. And then we are going to move all the way over here like so and because of the bridge being curved we need to bring that down let's check it from this view okay that looks about right now what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control d to duplicate that and we're going to go straight over so let's say this is about the spacing that we want something like that okay we're going to hit Shift D and we're going to duplicate that all the way over. Something like that. Let's keep that level at both ends. So we've got about four sticking out there. So we can get rid of a few. One, two, three, four. Take that one out. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drag select these. Actually, we're not. What we're going to do now, and I will do a few and then I'll pause the video because this is going to be very tedious and take a long time, right? I'll show you what I mean, okay? I'm just going to right click, go to vertex, take that one, pull it up until it's behind my cable. Take that one until it's level with the bottom of my bridge, okay? I'm going to do all of these, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back with you guys when I got that done, okay? Alright guys, well, I got all of these in position, as you can see, right? I got them combined, so I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate that. And we're going to move them over to the other side. And we're going to bring them in until they are in position. So hit F to zoom in. Okay, and that should be about right. Let's just uh, check that for a second. That looks to be right. Okay, so at this point we can take our reference image, we can delete that. We're going to drag select our entire bridge, mesh, combine, like so. And let's start to create a little environment for this, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, I'm going to save this, uh, save scene as... Golden Gate, and I'll just uh, make sure that I got it saved. Okay, so we're going to go to Winder, uh, Window, General Advisor, Pfizer's. Uh, we're going to go to, um, where is it? Ocean Examples. Let's go with uh, I don't know. Maybe a bit rough. Let's go with a normal C. We're going to drag that in here. Okay. Now obviously that needs to come down a bit, but we can quickly check that. We're just going to do a quick render. So we'll go with uh, mental ray. And I'll just uh, keep this nice and small. 
and we'll just do a quick render to see if our entire bridge is underwater or not. Okay, we're just gonna quickly shift angles because typically this is about the angle that we would normally see. Something like that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take a resolution gate here so we can see it a bit better. Something like so. Let's just uh, retry that and see how that looks. Yeah, we don't have any lighting set up in our scene, so uh, okay, I'm not too happy with that ocean, so I'm just gonna take that, hit delete, window, outliner, uh, there's our fluid, just delete that. And we're going to try another one. So, Window, General Editors, Pfizer, Ocean Example. Now, Giant Storm is a bit much, but maybe we can tweak that a little bit. Okay, we're going to take our entire bridge. We're going to bring that down just a little. Let's get back into the view that we selected. Maybe something like that. That would be about right. And it's just uh, intended as a quick preview, guys, to get a sense of uh, what this is going to look like. Okay. That looks much, much better. It's a bit stormy, but hey, you know. Okay, pretty cool. All right. It is a bit much, but uh, we'll see if we can work with this. Okay. Now, we are going to bookmark this. View, bookmark, edit, bookmark. Let's call this uh, uh, bridge, view, and apply, and close. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply some color to this. So assign new material. We're going to go with the Lambert. We don't want this to be too shiny. We're going to go with the red, but not that red. So we're going to bring that down a little bit. Maybe something like that. And then we're going to go into our render settings. Get rid of that. It's up here. Okay, mental ray, indirect lighting. We are going to create physical sun and sky. Let's uh, turn on global illumination. In my quality tab, I want that to be about 1.5, roughly. We're gonna initially, actually just set this up to HD 1080, that's fine. Okay, so we got that set up. Let's check our sun angle. So, window uh, outliner. Where is our physical sun? Right there. Let's see how that is positioned. We're going to hit F to zoom in. Okay, that's not exactly what I was looking for, so I'm going to hit E to rotate that. I want this to pretty much point at the sun, uh, at the bridge in that direction. Maybe tilt it a bit more. And let's give that a preview, okay? So we're gonna go back to our bookmark, bridge view, there we go. Let's give this a try. And I'll, uh, I'll pause during the render. Yep, I just uh, aborted that render, not too happy with it. So we're going to do some more tweaking and, uh, you know, we need to uh, change the color of this base here. So mesh 
separate. Give that a sec. All right, I'm just gonna take these uh, objects here. So that one and that one, and we'll zoom in to these other two. Shift select these two, right click, assign the material, Lambert. And we'll make that kind of gray, maybe even darker than that, something like so. Okay. Now, that looks still okay. Okay, now uh, let's see. We're just gonna get rid of this ocean here. Uh, it's not working the way I intended. So we'll just uh, get rid of that. I will just focus on the bridge, okay? Um, yeah, that should be better, okay? So we're gonna go back to our bookmark, bridge view, and let's see if we can tweak this angle a little bit to get it to a point where kind of looks okay. As you can see, it's uh, starting to slow down a bit. Yeah, we'll do this, okay? This is probably going to be our final render, so um, yeah, let's see what we got, okay? That's the render that I wasn't too happy with. And I'll pause during the render. All right, guys, this is our final render for the uh, Golden Gate. Um, I'm going to continue to uh, play with my settings, tweak lightings, textures, and so forth. But uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, this is it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and see you guys next time.